New York Times economist, columnist Paul Kergman is arguing for a return to the 1950s when incomes in the top tax bracket had to pay a marginal tax rate, are you ready, of 91 percent. Here's part of what he wrote in the Times uh, in his column. Quote, America in the 1950s made the rich pay their fair share, 91 <laughs> percent. It gave workers the power to bargain for decent wages and benefits, yet contrary to Right-wing propaganda, define right-wing propaganda as anything that disagrees <laughs> with Krugman. Then and now it prospered, and we could do that again. So apparently this Nobel Prize winning economist just wants to, well, raise taxes to 91 percent, everything will be fine. Now, these tax and spend liberals are really, truly something else. Krugman is in a class by himself, however. He fails to talk about, and we will here tonight, uh, the fact that back then we had a responsible government and responsible economists and even a few responsible columnists. Here, here's a comparison that we want to draw for you, if we may. In 1955, the middle of the decade, federal spending was just over 17% of GDP. 17%. Now, just about 23% of GDP. The good old days, huh? Back then, federal deficits were 0.8 percent, 0.8 percent, that's 0.8 percent of GDP. Now our trillion dollar federal deficits amount to 7.3 percent of GDP. Back then, trade was a contributor to economic growth, to the economy. We were bringing in $500 million or $4.2 billion when adjusted for inflation. And now we're running a trade deficit, a trade deficit of $536 billion. $536 billion. Back then, Social Security made up 6.5%. Let's go to Social Security. 6.5% of the federal budget. 6.5%. Medicaid and Medicare, of course, didn't exist back then. So let's compare that. 6.5% to what we're doing now. We're spending 20% of the budget on Social Security. Then we throw in 21% more of the federal budget uh, for Medicare, Medicaid, and then another 13% for other social safety net programs, food stamps. So that comes up to a whopping 54% percent of the budget. Fifty-four percent. Now, Krugman forgot to mention this. I mean, it's kind of important, isn't it? Back then, median family income was about $38,000. $38,000. Today, it's $62,000. We'll pretend that that looks like a two and that that looks like a six, $62,000. You know, we haven't done too well in the course of more than half a century in raising the median income in this country. And that's something that he is right about. We do have to fix that. But you do that through economic growth. You don't do it by raising taxes to 91% for crying out loud. Imagine this. He got a Nobel Prize. Well, then, or so did President Obama, didn't he? And the unions, back then, they made up 24%. Uh, 24% of the workers back in 1995, uh, 1955. Today, that number is a rather convenient because it makes it a reduction by half of 12% right now. That tells you which way the country is moving. And this nostalgia on the part of Krugman for a 91% tax rate, I want you to know that if ever there were evidence that Nobel Prize doesn't equal genius, I think we could start with Mr. Krugman and the number 91.